What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Hey, the fourth is right around the corner. You guys look at the video that I'm dropping. Hey, actually, look, I'm dropping it today. Look, that's a fire, you know, potato salad, right? So what we're doing is we're doing our summer classics. With the holiday, you know what? You can't say potato salad without seeing barbecue beans, right? But we're gonna level these beans up super easy. You can do them on the stove, put them outside, get a little smoke flavor, you know, do them on the grill. Whichever way, I promise you, it's gonna be fire. Now, I want you guys to look at this right here. Look. All you're gonna need is some sausage. You're gonna need all of this. And of course, you got to have that bacon, right? Hey, listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna get to, you know, cooking. So now, take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and take these right now. We getting right into it today, folks. I'm gonna just set this right here. And we just gonna start frying our bacon. Okay, so look, these are done. I'm not gonna make them super crispy. You want them to be a little bit on a pliable side, just like you see here. You wanna put them on a plate, you know, a plate that's lined with a, you know, paper towel, right? So this can absorb some of that grease. But look at this right here, folks. Get you up, get you a little close up. How many of y'all like that right there? Super easy. Now, we got that bacon fat in there, right? I'm gonna show you, we are finna use that too. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my onions. And we're gonna give those a head start. I always put your onions in first because it takes a little bit longer to break down. We're not gonna render them all the way down, we just wanna get them to soften up. So, this is it right here. You see how it absorbed that, that bacon fat? Oh man. So, we leave it like that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna multitask, right? I'm gonna go ahead and move these out the way. I'm doing it like this and filming it this way so you guys can see just how easy it is, right? Super simple. Just cook along with me. Now you just wanna go ahead and cut yourself some, some nice slices. You know what I mean? It's up to you. You can, do, you can cut them in slices and eat them like that, or you can put them like this in halves, or we can break them all the way down into quarters. It's all up to you. But there you go. Okay, so look. You see how it is? We don't want to break it all the way down, right? We're not doing grilled onions, but that right there, I'm liking what I see. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, since we just chopped up our andouille sausage, we're gonna add that to it just like this. Get this to brown up a little bit so it can release its flavors also. Okay, so now I'm liking what I'm seeing. I can see some of the grease and the oil, you know, being released from the cooking of this andouille sausage, right? So I like that. That right there, that's what we want. Now it's time to go ahead and just add our garlic, right? We'll just go ahead and use this press. Get it like this. You just want to mix it around, cook it down a little bit. You don't want to burn it. This right here smells incredible, folks. All right, so when everything is done, you guys go ahead, and then you, I'm gonna be using this foil right here, you know what I mean, because I like double this recipe, you know what I mean, so that I can get a lot, you know what I mean? It's the holiday, folks. You're going, this not gonna last long either, you know? So we'll just add it just like this. You wanna get it all in there. Every nook and cranny you want in there. Look at that right there. That's a whole lot of goodness, folks. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just cut this bacon down. Now look, we not gonna mince it or make it no little small. These not those little pieces, right? You wanna put it in somewhere right about like that, about that side. That's good right there. And look, we are not trying to overpower it with bacon. You know, we just wanna go ahead and have some bacon. You know, that way when you get a bite, you might get a spoonful. Look at that right there, that's just a nice piece. And if you want to, you can make them smaller, it doesn't make a difference, you know what I mean? But I, this right here is what I like to see. You know what I mean? I promise you all your guests will be happy. Now I'm gonna take these, we are gonna come over here and check this out, folks. Okay, so look, what I wanna do now is I wanna address the beans. Listen, I know this and I make it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get, leave the instructions and the ingredients down in the description box below, right? But check this out. We're gonna take this can right here. We're gonna take two of the four cans that I'm using. I'm gonna drain two. That's why I got my colander right here. So let me go ahead and drain. Okay, so what I did was, I said two, right? I went ahead and drained three, just for the amount that I'm doing. But I always make sure I leave myself one can that I did not drain, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. 
you know, listen, I promise you this is gonna be super, it's gonna be so delicious. You guys, listen, I'm giving up the game right now. Right, so we got this in here. And then before I add anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. Look at this. Now, we not done yet. Now we finna add all of the flavors to it. You know what I mean? And then this is what's gonna make it say, you know, that, that backyard barbecue, you know, baked bean. So I'll just give it a little mix now. That's all, just tumble it, right? You got some of y'all probably looking at it right now like, ooh wee, that's good. Now you take the rest of your ingredients, which it'll be brown sugar, molasses, ketchup, mustard, apple cider vinegar, and then last but not least, a little hot sauce. Now this right here, you guys can add as much as you like. Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, now we just wanna mix, right? You wanna be a little bit on the careful side, you know what I mean? These beans are already, you know, cooked, right? When you take them out of the can. So you don't wanna like mush them up. But what I can tell you is, what you wanna do, you should start to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. But you see this? I'm just kinda like folding it over, you know what I mean, until I get it all incorporated together. And the yellow mustard, that tells the t uh, tale for you. Because when you got this and it's completely gone, you pretty much got it all mixed up the right way. You know, so you just wanna keep going like this. I know it's looking good, folks. I can hear some of y'all right now. I can read them comments right now. Okay, so this right here is mixed up. I know, <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm finna taste it anyway before it go in there, but we are gonna put it in the oven. My oven is already ready. So let me put it in. We're gonna put it in there for about 45 minutes. Hey, listen, just the key, do not cover this. We want it to thicken up, you know what I mean? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not holding nothing back. Now you guys know all of my tricks. And there you go, folks. Tell me what you guys think about that there. Look at that. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. This is it. I don't know about y'all, but my mouth is watering. Of course, I can smell it, you know what I mean? But you guys might be able to smell it. You know, it's funny how the brain works. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. You can see the onions, I see bacon, I see sausage, I see Sharon, I see Tiffany. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what TV show was that when the lady had that little magic viewer and she said that at the end. Okay, so you guys seen it, we're gonna take a look at it one more time, look. We got the beans, and then you know with the whole spread, you guys can see, look, we got corn. This, look, I gotta show it to you this way too. This is cream corn. You guys been to my restaurant, you know what this is right here. All right, that, then we got potato salad, sprinkling a little, you know, paprika on the top, and then we got the star. And speaking of the star, I'm gonna go ahead and just add this just like this, cause we gotta get us some beans, folks. There you go, I can't wait to hit it. Hey, to be honest with you, man, I have this, man, probably once a week, that's probably my problem. Hey, but enough talking. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't know how to say nothing, you know, say what this is, but all I can tell you is this, this right here is pure. And this is what you guys didn't see on, you know, this is what I did off camera. Look, I put a little bit of that uh, potato salad in there. So listen, if you're a purist, you gotta go potato salad, scoop up some of them beans. I see I got some of that bacon on there. And I forgot to tell you this, guys, if you don't eat bacon, like, this is just, just as good. And that sausage that we I put in there right there, that's that chicken andouille, you know, for those who don't do that pork. But listen, if you put all that in there, I promise you it's gonna be fire. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell, right? That way you guys can be notified anytime I drop any of these recipes like this. And I can tell you right now, if you guys look at this right here, this to me, it's a holiday, baby. And with that being said, look, I got my scoop ready, potato salad, beans, and everything else. Peace.